he's making right now one and a half thousand dollars from YouTube every single month. Matias is 26 years old. He works a nine to five job. All of the videos he has done, he has done everything himself. Today's mastermind, the star of the show, my friend, Matias. Basically, Matias is a friend of mine. I reached out to him via YouTube. He does YouTube search as well. Matias is 26 years old. He works a nine to five job and he has a YouTube search channel, which he has done everything himself. So he has not outsourced a single thing. All of the videos he has done, he has done everything himself um, over the past, he's gonna tell how long, but he's making right now one and a half thousand dollars from YouTube every single month. So I think this is going to be very valuable and uh, super inspiring for a lot of people. And with that in mind, Matthias, welcome to the show. How are you, man? <laughs> Great. Thank you very much. And by the way, I'm very uh, honored that so many of you came to uh, see me talk today instead of watching the game. That's really, really awesome. <laughs> uh, yeah. So my name is uh, Matthias. I live in Sweden and I've done this uh, YouTube thing for about one year right now. And as uh, George said before, I actually work uh, a nine to five job. So everything that uh, comes with YouTube uh, comes after basically when I'm done working, I go home and do YouTube videos and everything I've done to this point has been uh, myself basically. So every video that I have on my channel has just been like, yeah, the video that I've created myself and it's all search based and uh, it's been go going really, really great. Uh, every month I see like an increase in views. Uh, it's an increase in revenue as well. Uh, last month uh, it was 1.4 K uh, US dollars. And this month I am set to hit 1.5. So it's looking really, really awesome. And as I said before, this was all done by myself. So if some of you maybe are like wanted to do videos yourself as well, uh, then I think that I could be like a good example, maybe <laughs> that it's possible. Of course. Hey, I have a, I have a question. Um, hmm? Cause I know uh, you told me about this, but I want for everybody else to know this as well. You started with like crypto videos, right? Yeah, that is true. Yeah, yeah I did. And I then did. you transition into like these simple how-to videos. Yeah. That's so true. how how did that switch happen and why? Uh, well, the thing is, when I started, I was kind of late into the crypto like hype, you know. But I saw that there's some channels that are getting like a lot of views on uh, simple crypto like price uh, prediction and stuff like that for like specific coins. And I tried and some of them went really, really well, but they just died basically first. Uh, like maybe they got like 500 views. Uh, first and second day just died after that. I was like, yeah, okay. I wanted to have a little bit more like consistent views because it's kind of it kind of sucks to put out so much content and it just dies like the next day. So I started, you know, searching for YouTube, different kind of ways that I can actually try YouTube. And then I found Yuri, uh, Yuri's channel on YouTube, and he was talking about ranking in search and how it can actually help you, you know, bring in views uh, for a long time and very like consistently, consistently. And uh, I was like, yeah, that makes a lot of sense. And I started doing that myself. And here we are. Like, yeah. Mm. And how long have you been doing this? Uh, search or the search I have been done maybe 10 months and crypto for like two months before. So search, uh, just search videos has been 10 months, you can say. All right. All right. So I think a lot of people know the concept of what he's talking here about the whole search mo uh, model. Um, so we're not going to go maybe too much into deep to into depth about that but um yeah man let's open up for questions i mean it's pretty it's pretty cool what you have done and um what like as usual you guys raise your hands uh if you have any question for matthias how he has done it let's go into depth let's go into about you know maybe keyword research how you do that and you know because that's what we usually say is the most highly kind of valued skill here um so yeah halim take it away man Hey guys, uh, yeah, so I thought I just started off one of the things you just actually talked about then, which was uh, keyword research. Um, yep. So I, obviously I know there's a lot of people which talk about that they don't use certain uh, platforms like vidIQ or TubeBuddy and so on. Mm -hmm. But I've been playing around with these myself, I do find them beneficial. Mm -hmm. um, obviously I want to you know, kind of understand your opinion on it as well. Obviously I know that it's not just limited to those two as well, I know there's many others out there. Uh, I use VidIQ a little bit myself as well, actually, and I use it mainly to get like inspiration. Uh, you know that when you like write like a keyword, you can actually get a couple of like options in there as well. So I can have that just as an inspiration or 
the 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 thing that I really really like about VidIQ is that it ge it gives you like an estimate how much views one video is getting per hour. So you can actually like understand that if you're searching for one specific keyword, you can actually see that the number one that is ranking maybe gets like 100 views per hour. And you think like, wow, if I can just get a couple like percentage out of that, that would be awesome. So I kind of use it just more for inspiration and seeing how well actually those uh, YouTube videos that rank, how well they're actually doing. So for sure, like, why not? So how do yeah, you do yeah. your keyword research? Um, uh, me? Yeah. Uh, how I do keyword, it's actually, I have a different uh, methods for, for it, but the one that I've been trying out lately that has been working really, really well is to just really, really like deep dive into YouTube, like search bar. So I search for uh, whatever, like how to fix something. And then I just see like what kind of videos are actually ranking number one. Am I able to compete with them? Are they like really high authority channels? Maybe they have like 40, 50 or more like K subscribers, right? And if they do, I probably will not make a video about that because it's going to be very hard for me to rank. But what I can do is to actually write like this, how to fix this specific problem. And then I can have something like a bit more, you know, after that, so more long tail keyword. And those I have been doing a really, really well uh, lately. And also when you are actually deep diving into YouTube, just writing as much like how to as possible. Also look at what kind of channels are there like in those like that are ranking and look like what kind of videos are they making? Maybe I can like see like what are the top videos? Can I make this kind of top videos myself? Because he, the channel maybe you found is kind of similar to yours in terms of subscribers. And if that their number one or number two videos is getting a lot of views, you can maybe do like a similar kind of video, maybe do it a little bit better because if, if that person ranks for that keyword and your channel is similar, why can't you also rank for that? That's also what I've been looking to a lot. And it's been working for sure, for me at least, it's been working. Interesting. And you don't have a big channel, so it's not like your channel has no. a lot of authority. No, it, it doesn't. No, it doesn't. Yeah. Right. Yeah, that's super interesting. All right. You guys have any more questions? Steve. Halim, we'll take you at the end. Steve. Steve Mack. Steve, if you want to turn on your camera, by the way, that would be great. We know you're beautiful. <laughs> I think you're muted, Steve. Yeah. Steve is muted. Halim, I guess you're next, man. Something happened to Steve. <laughs> oh, no way. Okay. Uh, yeah, no. So one of the things you actually mentioned there, um, I, I'll be honest, I'm actually struggling a little bit myself. Mm -hmm. And uh, where you mentioned that you look at the the channels, which obviously got a lot of authority. Yeah, yeah, yeah. How, how do you kind of see the opportunity? I know obviously you might get some channels which have like, you know, 200, 300,000 subscribers. Uh-huh. Do you, do you feel like sometimes that you there's still a, a chance to rank uh, better than them? Like, uh, I understand exactly what you mean. No, I don't go for those uh, keywords at all. If there's like 200, 300K, I just, uh, maybe there's a chance, but like, let's be honest, probably not high, right? Maybe like you're if I, sorry, if I, if I put a couple of scenarios, for example, if you had like one channel that had, so if you had like to say the, the top 10 videos, one of them was 200,000 subscribers, Mm -hmm. And then maybe all the ones underneath then were, you know, one or 2,000 subscribers. Oh, yeah, now I get it. Yeah. And then maybe a different scenario could be half a, you know, big subscribers, half of them are, are low subscribers. You know, there's so many different scenarios and how to look at it with. So what's your, what's your view on that? Uh, that's a great question. Really great question, by the way. And the first scenario, and uh, the one that's ranking number one that has 200K, they have probably done the exact same thing. They've gone and found like this keyword that seems to be undervalued and then, then just like rank number one. What I would do, I would probably make that video as well, but I would look at the number two, uh, number one, number two, number three video. So let's say that that 200K channel is probably ranking number one. Look at the views per hour on VidIQ. How much views are they getting? So look at number one, number two, number three. So let's say that the, the number one video is getting like 100 views per hour. The number two is getting like 40 and the number three maybe are getting 10. If you can get into top three, then you are basically guaranteed to have like at least 10 views per hour. And the other like channels are kind of, you know, a bit lower in subscribers. Just try to do it a little bit better. Just do it like maybe start off your video instead of going like, hello, my name is like that. Today I'm going to show you. Start off with like, uh, do you want to be able to get the dark mode on TikTok? Well, then this video is going to be perfect for you. Start off like this instead. Just do something a little bit more, you know, different from what the others are doing. 
And I think that long term, you will get a lot more success from doing that, basically. So the first scenario, 100%. And the second scenario, sorry, I didn't, uh, I didn't get it. Uh, yeah, sorry, the, se the second bit was basically almost related to that because you have like um, a different arrangement of different channels. So you might have, you know, again, five channels with 200,000 subscribers, mm. and then you might have five channels with, um, you know, one or 2,000 subscribers. So you might see, oh, okay, the six to 10 videos, uh, the potential there, but yeah do you do, 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 do you use the same sort of thinking with with you know that type of arrangement yeah i would probably not go for the number two actually because there seems to be like too many videos that are ranking too high like that are like you know or too many channels that are ranking that has like a lot of sub subscribers i would probably not do like scenario number two it seems like it's just too much competition okay yeah thank you no Thanks. worries What's up, man? Um, up? So, have you ever experimented with a different, I would say, combining search and browse videos uh, on your channels to see if you can rank with both? Yeah, yeah, uh, <laughs> I have actually, but I've always failed on browse. Like, browse is so hard. I have gotten like a couple of videos that are actually getting like uh, a little bit like traction in browse, but they always they always die for me. And I think that the reason for that is because my title is way too like uh, you know boring like how to enable dark mode on tiktok maybe if you want to go for like both uh, like search or and browse you have to have some like better title i guess like the number one way to get dark mode on tiktok <laughs> something like that right right for example you know so i have but mostly fail unfortunately so search is like my number one like thing okay mm. thank you no worries. We, we have a couple of people in the community who are like really good with browse. I think Mihai mm -hmm. does browse. He's pretty good. Oh, and awesome. I, I think and I think also I made one person uh, moderator. Um, his name is Mauro. He goes by the name of uh, Same with like the cat. Uh, oh, yeah. He, he, he's, he's yeah, yeah. Really, yeah. So he's really active uh, mm -hmm. in the community. And I made a moderator because he was like just the most active person there. And he, bro, he is killing it. He's, yeah, he's yeah. Have, did he see his screenshots? He's doing like 180 or something like days. Yeah, yeah. I saw it today. He put out like one video that was yeah. like a thousand euros, I think. Maybe just, maybe next mastermind we'll have uh, for sure. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mauro sure. or, or, or Mihai talk about browse. That would be interesting. Yeah, he, he seems to know something that we don't, I guess. So 100%. <laughs> and we need those people. <laughs> yeah, so if you're watching, then 100%, bro. We need to hear what... <laughs> we need you. to hear you. <laughs> Come on in. Yeah. Okay, yeah. who's up next? Who has a question? Come on, be brave. There we go. That's the, that, that's the most brave person we got. Yeah, yeah no worries. <laughs> I've got, I got so many questions, honestly. Um, sure. Sure. Yeah, so basically, I was thinking a similar thing as well. When you're looking through a lot of the videos... Uh, which have already been done. If you see, you know, some videos which have been uh, done maybe two years ago. Oh yeah, yeah. Yeah. What do you what do you think about that in terms of you know do you have a chance? Um, for sure. If for example, you know that Instagram, for example, changed the way that you can delete your account because you couldn't really do it in app before, but now you can. I think so at least. And a lot of people that were ranking for like high channels that were ranking before two years ago how to delete your Instagram account, they got like killed by the new channels that basically like uh, got in there and did like an update. And if you were fast, I mean, like the, basically the same day, the same day uh, the update came or maybe like two or three days after that, if you were fast on that, you probably would actually be have a, like a chance to rank in that for sure. But um, if it's two years and it's the exact same thing, you can't really add any more value then. Probably, probably not. But I will also look at what kind of channels that are ranking. Of course, I think that you, you mean that the two years, the the channels that are ranking are high. Like they have like high subscriber count, right? No, no. So like if if someone posted, for example, um, how to delete your Instagram channel, and they posted that two years ago, mm -hmm. um, and they might be the only one that's ranking. Uh, um, you know, you might think, oh, okay, well, I might have a chance. Or there might be quite a few channels which are you know two years old on the videos. Yeah, you know, yeah. Is, it, is it a chance to rank? Just because maybe I'm, I'm just thinking. It's does Instagram's algorithm look at it as okay? Well, these are old videos. The view, yeah, uh, yeah. count has, has decreased over the over the two years. Maybe YouTube's looking for something fresh. 
Uh, maybe actually I've thought about that myself as well, but there is channels that are ranking for like many, many years. And even people that are making new videos, they cannot like get it. So maybe if you can do it and do it a little bit better, maybe then you have a chance for sure. I see. For sure. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. But Thanks. actually another thing I wanted to say is that I have felt, I have seen that a lot of people are starting to do you like this kind of uh, search based uh, methods, but they're doing like more outside of actually social media so they're for example showing people how to like clean something like in your bathroom or something like that just as an example and they're ranking super high because they're so hard to compete with those kind of channels and they just basically get like number one and they get that spot for 10 or like 15 years i've seen like it's crazy mm -hmm. examples like really and uh, i think that if you want to look at it long term, then probably start doing these kind of things as well. If you have like a pro some kind of product at home that you can basically like teach people how to use, try it. Because 100% you're probably going to rank number one. Because if you have like a specific air fryer, which is very like uh, popular nowadays, show how to clean it, for example. And maybe you get like number one and you will be number one for 10 years, gather a lot of views and a lot of authority. So this is something I would say that maybe we should try that as well because it's hard to compete against us then. Yeah, sure. Let's get all our appliances out. Exactly, exactly. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Interesting. Yeah, I, I don't think that's quite scalable because it, Matthias... Yeah, it's yeah. not scalable. It's more that if you're willing to do it yourself. Yeah. 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 All right. Mihai, what's up? Okay. So, as George said, I'm uh, mostly into, into browse channels, but... Uh, I also want to try search because, mm. of course, it's more stable mm -hmm. uh, on browse channels. If I don't post, I don't get views. So um, I see a lot of people that uh, when they go into search, a lot of them go into the tutorials niche. Mm -hmm. But uh, I always like get the feeling that the tutorials niche is very saturated. Mm. What do you think about this? Is it saturated or not? I, I, I see like tens of people who do the same tutorial like yeah like you said how to do how to change to put dark mode on tiktok or something yeah, yeah, like yeah. that it's definitely saturated in those kind of uh, search terms like how to get dark mode on tiktok and stuff like that don't do that videos uh, the people that are winning right now are those that are really really deep diving into keyword research on youtube and really like searching for those on tap potential or those that are also winning are doing something that others aren't doing. For example, showing their face on uh, uh, your video and doing something that nobody basically does. Because if you have like 10 videos, all the same, all like screen recording and stuff like that, but one video, you now show your face. You now like kind of talking, like they're seeing your face and probably maybe trusting you more. Something a little bit different. I've seen that those channels tend to do a lot better nowadays. And yeah, it is saturated for many keyword re uh, uh, like keyword topics but it can't really get like 100 saturated because you, you have so much that you can talk about <laughs> yeah yeah so yeah I hope answer. That answer your question yeah it does awesome um i want to add to this a little bit if i if i can um we were talking about quality of the video um and like if it's uh about what Halim asked, the different channels and, and like ranking and stuff. So I made a video on my uh, search channel. It was like how to add a tracking number in Shopify to an order or something like that, right? Yeah. You might think super, super saturated, right? Yuri's done that keyword like two years ago, right? Three years ago, why, why would I rank for that? But I don't know why I ranked for that. And I'm showing up like, I don't know, maybe in the top five or maybe in the top 10, I'm showing up. So I'm getting a good chunk of the traffic. Yeah. Um, and, and what I think, and this is kind of my observation. I don't know if this is like a hard, like set in stone truth, but my observation is that quality of the video and quality of the Voice. words you say in the thing matters. Oh, because yeah. let's say you take two exact videos, right? And one video is like a low quality voice, you know, where the where it's like overdrive with the thing, and and you know, there's a lot of filler words like "hello guys," uh, so today basically simply blah 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 like that, right? And then you have like a high quality one where you mm -hmm. have like "hello." In this video, I'm going to show you how to do step number one. Do, 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 do. It's kind of like this. I have a feeling that overall YouTube is gonna in the long term prefer the videos that have a much higher quality with like no filler words, it just gets straight to the point, 
right? Mm -hmm. Because we talk about like, what's the purpose of your video, right? What, what, who is your video serving, right? Like what kind of a problem are you serving? So if your video initially is with the purpose to solve a problem, then you want to get into the solution of the problem as soon as possible, as clean as possible, right? Because that video I did myself, the how to add tracking number, right? I have super good quality audio. I just kind of did it all myself, super clean, just jumped right into it and, and I ranked, right? And I'm sure that there are many search channels who did that keyword, but with a low quality video. So I think that's my hypothesis. I saw the same thing on my main channel when I script a video where there's no filler words, it performs much better than when I have a video where I kind of just try to freestyle. So I think yeah. that matters a lot.